Guys, the conspiracy theory that I'm going to share with you today could be this thing runs deep and this thing runs wide and this could potentially be bigger than who killed JFK. This could be bigger than Illuminati. This could be bigger than New World Order. But before I tell you exactly what this is, let me, let me ask you a question. Have you ever gone down to the lake and you've been fishing for about 45 minutes to an hour and you caught yourself a fish, so you're like, you know, I'm not doing too bad. I got a fish, you know, you can't complain. And then, you know, an older couple come by, you know, husband and wife, they come by and in that same hour, they catch maybe three to four fish and you're still there with your one fish and you're starting to wonder what I'm doing wrong that they're catching all the fish. And so you ask, you know, you're like, hey, what, what, what are you guys using over there, you know? And they say, well, we're using power bait. These are the same people that you ask them what they're using, power bait, you know, you're like, ah, that seems real interesting because I'm using power bait too, but how come they're catching all the fish and I'm not? And so you decide to go over there, you decide to inspect for yourself, you walk on over, you're like, hey, you know, you're trying to see what kind of color they're using. And then they do this, they go, whoa, 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 take it easy now, buddy. We're just using power bait dough over here. Walk along, run along now. Why is it that everybody says that power bait dough is the best bait to use when catching stock trout? Why is it that Walmart, Sportsman's Warehouse, Bass Pro Shops, and every other tackle shop out there carry power bait dough? Why is it that all these old timer fishermen, the one that, that catch all the fish, tell you that power bait is the way to go when you don't catch any fish on them? Maybe it's because, guys, you gotta start thinking for yourself. Maybe it's because you need to stop following the masses. You gotta start thinking for yourself. If you're subscribed to Fish and Nate, you gotta think for yourself. You gotta do some critical thinking. You gotta connect the dots and read between the lines that these organizations have a vested interest because it's cheap to make. You know, you, you buy it at the store for four or five bucks, how much does it cost to make? Maybe, maybe 50 cents, maybe not even, 30 cents, 40 cents. Maybe these old time fishermen know some things that you don't know and so they tell you it's power bait because if they told you what really catches these fish, you would, it would devastate the fish population in these lakes, in your local lakes. You would fish out your lakes in maybe two to three days. It's so powerful, the secrets that these old timers know. And there are, maybe it's because power bait dough is not the bait that you should be using. Maybe it's garbage. And there are those of you out there who might say, well, Gee, Fisher Nate, you know, I caught some, some trout on power bait dough just the other day. And I'll say, well, lightning strikes twice in the same spot, doesn't it? Fact is stranger than fiction. Now, what I'm about to tell you today may never have been shared on YouTube before. This is the first time you're going to hear this information. Power bait mouse tails. Now, let me tell you guys something. I've been fishing. I just started trout fishing this season and every single fish that I've caught has been on the power bait mouse tail. And it's for two reasons. Number one, it stays on the hook. And number two, it has a great action in the water. Now, you know, if you're a beginner, you put some power bait dough on your hook and you throw it out there kind of hard, right? You throw it out there, it hits the water kind of with a thump and you're, you're left thinking, well, gee, you know, did it, did it fall off the hook? Cause it hit the water kind of hard. You're like, did it fall off the hook? So I need to reel it back in and rebate it. Or, you know, maybe it's still on there and uh, I will, I'll check on it in about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you, you, you wait 10, 15 minutes, you reel it back in and you're like, man, it's off the hook. The bait's no longer on the hook. You've been sitting out there for 15 minutes with nothing on your hook, just, just wasting your time. And that's the worst. And so, you know, that's a dilemma that beginner fishermen you don't want yourselves to be in that situation where you're, 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 you're sitting out there without, a, without any bait on the hook. So guys, oh wait, wait, what was that? Fisher Nate, what color of, of, of mouse tails do I get? Well, great, I'm glad you asked that. That's a great question. And I'm gonna show you guys what color I use. Now, it's super important that you guys always have a primary color, and my primary color is this right here. That's, as you can see, the chartreuse and fluorescent orange mouse tail. This is my primary color. And then you always gotta have a backup color. And I, my backup color is this one right here. The bubble gum white. All right, focus. Yeah, bubble gum white. That's my backup color. 
I every single trout that I've caught this season has been on this chartreuse and fluorescent orange mouse tail. I haven't caught them on anything else but this. And this is, you know, just in case they don't buy it. Yeah, I like, what I like to do is I like to throw, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll bait uh, one line up with this and I'll bait the other rod up with this and then I'll throw them out and see which one they like. You know, if they like this one, I'll reel the other rod back in and bait them both with this one. But, you know, guys, I've told you everything you need to know to get down to the tackle shop and get started with buying your tackle. Uh, you know, everything, including your rod, your reel, all that. I have a website now, efficientate.com. There's a start here page. Go check that page out. And as everything that you need to know, you can, you know, go to the tackle shop on your phone and look real professional. You can say, you know, looking at your phone, you say, well, where can I need a, a seven foot ultralight action rod with some four pound test. You know where I can get some of that? And you'll look real professional. You won't look like an amateur. I mean, you can go in there and start poking around too. That's fine by me. That's what I did. No harm in that. But you know, you go in there, you're like, hmm, I need some sliding egg sinkers, half ounce, and some size 10 hooks. And you'll look, uh, they'll be like, wow, this guy knows what he's doing. So, you know, go check that out. Guys, stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble the whole thing, and then you're gonna get ready to go catch some trout. There's no Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> I need. <laughs>